I know all of us are comfortably seated, so maybe we can flex our muscles a little and have a round of applause. Please help me welcome our next speaker, Smita Murarka, CMO, Duroflex. Hi, everyone. I hope all of you can hear me. And uh, usually we love to talk about people sleeping, but I really hope I don't put you to sleep right now. Uh, I'll be talking about what Duroflex did in the last two, two and a half years. It used to be a traditional offline trade only brand and today it is uh, the fastest growing only omni brand, digital first marketing brand in the country. So some of the strategies that really helped us, some of the things that helped us not differentiate India from Bharat. So breaking it down, I've tried to keep it as less textual as possible, some videos in there, so I do hope you enjoy it. Yeah, do I have a pointer? Okay, uh, just want to know how many of you all were in college early 2000 when brands like Levi's, KFC, McDonald's all enter into India? Okay, I think we all should feel a little old. <laughs> Not many hands up there. But that was really the time when Western brands became, you know, something to look forward to. I think all of us from that era can identify if somebody told us a uh, earphone brand called Boat, made in India, is available, would we aspire to buy it, right? I remember saving up for my first Levi's denim, like saving up a lot and finally buying the 501 denim, right? But post-COVID, India has changed. The D2C brands of today are doing a great job. The legacy brands are really reinventing themselves. So what we did at Duroflex is, Post-COVID, throughout the lockdown period too, we spoke a lot about our roots, where we come from. We started in the backwaters of Kerala, where the materials to make mattresses were really available, great technology in manufacturing. We started talking about our 50 years of trust. So really transforming the trust of 50 years, you know, breaking it down, saying what we've been all about, taking it back to roots, the B of Bharat. So back to roots is a big, big, concept right now, Gen Z identifies with it, and there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of, just being a Western brand is not enough. Even Western brands that are really big that are coming into India are starting to understand the Indian nuances. So it's a great time for legacy brands to really talk about where they are from, what they've been up to, and why have they lasted so long, because 50 years is not a joke, right? So that's what we did, we spoke about our legacy. We converted into our trust, we made an icon which we used in our communication and that immediately gave us a one-up amongst many of the young D2C brands also and of course the other brands uh, who were around but didn't do much communication. The other thing, so we transformed ourselves just from being a mattress brand, a product-driven brand to really educating about sleep and sleep was a big, big piece in building immunity during COVID now, of course, all of us hopefully have a lot of awareness that it is the strongest pillar of health. It is something that's freely available. It is your superpower. And a lot of our marketing efforts were spent on talking about sleep. So while it was a time when marketing budgets was not easily available back in 2020, now it is going back to that. We never gave up on connecting with sleep, even to the Bharat audience, which was non-metro. Uh, we had... A, our biggest IP launched in 2021, and we had the second season uh, this March. So World Sleep Day happens for this category, which has become a big marketing day, where uh, not only brands, but now a lot of editorial, a lot of media internationally spreads awareness around sleep. And we decided that there's a lot of uh, scientific talk that is happening, and it is too heavy for consumers. So what can we do? which is easily connectable. It is something that unites the entire country and what better than music, right? So we launched our property called Sounds of Sleep, which is an IP, and it was about regional lullabies because our data showed us that young parents during that time were having the toughest time to really reconnect with their kids. And we got the biggest cinders. I have the video, so you'll see it, but the data is over there show that on its own, of course, it did have a marketing push, but even organically, it got quite popular. It won us a lot of awards. It got us a lot of reach. And we put in quite a bit of money. So I remember Pavan talking about experimentative budget, right? 
it was not a time where we could afford experimental budget, but we did not give up on our passion for spreading about sleep, and even if it's through music, which is not really business, right? So we had this property, and now it has become so big that it's going to happen every year. And uh, this is something that kept our purpose alive. So Bharat also is a lot about while you're selling, while you're talking about good products, while you're you know, giving the best price probably, it is also about connecting with their heart, you know, really connecting to their soul and making that connect that no other brand does. So if, if you're in a category which can do that, that would be the number one thing that will take you a long way to build your brand. And the third is, nothing works like advocacy, especially a brand that wants to break away from what it was or wants to go into newer territories. So we were primarily present in South. A little bit about this category, it behaves very differently. It is still about 60% unbranded, and I was talking to a few of y'all, which is very weird. So somebody, even with an iPhone, will not really think about buying a brand for a mattress. They'll go to a local Gaddawala because they think it's not important enough. While a lot has improved, it is still a faraway game. And in these kind of categories, nothing beats than advocacy, whether it's the largest Bollywood star or whether it is influencers. But of course, meaningful content is something that needs to be tied up with it. So we did a lot of advocacy. Um, even during lockdown, we were the first ones who started influencer marketing, who started talking about how sleep is important and how mattress is important, what should you keep in mind while choosing the right mattress, all the way to taking a large Bollywood celebrity like Alia Bhatt. Why Alia Bhatt? Not because she's a number one actress, but also because she's a big believer in sleep. So she, she used to organically talk about sleep a lot on her handle, and she genuinely talks about it. That's one of the reasons, too, why we went for it. So when you're choosing influencers, when you're choosing brand advocates, also make sure that they're close to your brand purpose. They are not, you know, it's just not a face. It's just not another pretty face or a leading actor or a leading actress. But it all ties in together. So that's something we went for. After this, I'm going to play a series of some of our best work in marketing. And they're all very different from each other. Uh, but they all had a place in, in the objective that we are trying to reach. So I'll talk about that for now, two minutes. Please enjoy the video. Your bed. It has been a lot of things. A haven for a hot day's night. The reason why we can start right. A snug corner for good habits. A playground for little rabbits. It has stayed up with you on binge watching nights. It has had your back through spreadsheets and slides. Your bed has done a lot for you. Now it can keep you safe too. Stay in. Stay safe. Stay home. Welcome to Duroflex Sounds of Sleep, a series that explores how music aids sleep. Series 1 celebrates regional lullabies collected from across India. I will bring you one soothing lullaby each week. India's best glories. Specially curated to connect us all back to our roots. Ho gaya. Thank you. Dekho, main bhashan nahi dunga. Sirf faide ki baat karunga. Ye dekh rahe hain aap? Duraflex ki duropedic mattress. Mere back ka perfect support. मजे की बात तो ये है कि मार्केट में इसे कोई रेकमेंड ही नहीं करता वो दुकान वाला बोल रहा था अरे सर ब्रांडेड क्यों लेना है अंदर सब सेम ही होता है मैं बना के देता हूँ ना आपको सस्ता पड़ेगा <laughs> भाई मेरे बैग का सवाल है यही सोच तो बदलनी है और मेरे बैग को चाहिए साइंटिफिकली इंजीनियर्ड मैट्रेस इंजीनियर ना पहचान गए इसके फाइव जोन ऑर्थोपेडिक लेयर मेरे बॉडी के प्रोशर पॉइंट्स को सही हिसाब से एडजस्ट करता है और ये सीधा फैक्ट्री से सैनिटाइज होकर आता है extra sleep with extra sleep and the best part is it is recommended by national health academy 2021 ki top tip deta hu jaise hi saal badla hai na apni soch bhi badal dalo hi 
What's the mattress? I, I couldn't sleep properly. Matter pata hai. Mattress pooch rahi hu. Genius. Bina sochi mattress le liya. Ne mattress ho mattress hota na. Just get a Duroflex mattress. Fifty years of trust. Five zone full body support. Great sleep and also it's a doctor recommended orthopedic mattress range. Nothing like Duroflex. So there was lot of content over there, right? Very different, right from the English piece when the lockdown happened, when staying home was a communication, to Sounds of Sleep, which was actual regional recreation of lullabies which have been passed down through generations. Through challenges of unbranded behavior, especially in the West, where Pratik was very popular, to Alia Bhatt really, you know, transforming and upgrading the choice. So for a brand which not only wants to obviously do better business, sell more, but also wants to transform the category, because only if Duroflex wins, it's not enough, right? With 60% of unbranded, you want everybody to start upgrading. So even if competition joins in, it's okay. So a lot of our content is about changing category behavior, making it more modern, making it unboring, but still educating. It's a combination of a lot of things, and today, Tier 2, Tier 3, for most of the consumers who are mass stage upwards, none of us are different. I mean, all of us come from different cities. We migrated to different cities. There was reverse migration. So with all this, Tier 2, Tier 3 consumers are no different. You cannot treat them like minus one metro. You cannot say, okay, this is another set of consumers. In fact, they're a lot more aspirational. So the, the content that you need to connect with them really needs to touch their heart and it needs to be advocated by the right influencers. You have to choose very carefully and that's what we try to do. The other thing is transforming it from a retail experience also, right? We've heard a lot of speakers that the bubble of D2C has outgrown itself from just being e-commerce or online to getting back to retail. Most of the categories even today, 70 to 80% is offline. And this category in mattresses, the environment of stores is really poor. So what we did was we launched really world-class looking large experience centers where people can understand about sleep. And especially when we're entering a tier two or tier three market launch with this first versus a trade store or a retail stores, because then you get to experience your brand, you can buy it anywhere, right? So R of retail is something that's very critical. Uh, being aspirational, affordable, and accessible, affordable, not really cheap. So we are not the most affordable brand in, when it comes to price, but we are affordable for the value that we offer, for the, for the experience that we offer. So these three is something as a combination that a lot of Indian consumers and across Bharat, what we seek for. And the last one is really bringing tech at core because India is huge and if you really need to penetrate it's not possible with just one kind of strategy, whether it is only offline or only online. And again, uh, one another caveat about this category that freight is a big expense criteria. So having manufacturing units closer to source where you're selling is important. So really connecting marketing, sales channels, being digital, world-class manufacturing, innovative products, you need tech to connect the piece. And marketing then does not become only about doing great communication. It is about how you're telling supply chain that 24-hour delivery is critical for somebody not to choose another brand because they need a mattress today. How are you telling that your website is not only a sales channel, it is to drive discovery and you know, final sales to your Coco. So marketing today is honestly the way I see it at the center of the business. It is consumer centricity. It is about really understanding the nuances, but combining it and giving a single picture for your brand to reach the entire Bharat. And this is some of the things we've done. My time's up. Um, if there's any questions, maybe quickly, or I could speak to you offline. Uh, we can probably take one question, if there are any questions from the audience. Well, if not, then I think I have the same question I have that I had for Deepak as well, which is regard, uh, with regard to the marketing challenge. You know, what's your biggest marketing challenge? And, uh, you know, in what way do you think, you know, so, so many of our networkers who are present here, what is that one thing that they can solve? So I think a lot of people will talk about from a consumer point of view. I'll honestly say it is from a talent point of view, especially for me leading a team or even talking to my partners, right? 
Um, I think we are very misguided by jargons and ever-changing jargons. Um, so I would really say both for marketers on the brand side as well as the agency side, please understand what is the brand you're associated with, what is the category, and always have your overall marketing fundamentals strong because tech will keep changing, jargons will keep changing. A year back it was only performance, now it's getting back to brand being important and then there's MarTech. So don't, as a young marketer, don't get too you know, sucked into being in your silo. Please be very strong in marketing fundamentals because media keeps changing. And when you're approaching a client, be uh, really connected to what their problem is from a category point of view because that really supersedes the marketing budget per se. So try to solve problems. Yeah. All right. All right. So well then on that note, uh, as we call it a wrap, I'm going to hand over this beautiful gift coming in from Kiwi Kisan window. Can we have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen?